وهو الذي سخر البحر لتأكلوا منه لحما طريا وتستخرجوا منه حلية تلبسونها وترى الفلك فيه مواخرا لتبتغوا من فضله ولعلكم تشكرون <coughs> This is verse uh, number 14 from Surah Al-Nahal And he is Allah who has subjected the sea for you so that you can <coughs> eat from it fresh and tender meat and so that you can extract from it uh, these ornaments uh, that you wear and you will see the ship plowing the sea earn his favor Allah's favor and to earn your worldly uh, favor through this sea may seek your bounty from this sea and finally وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ and perhaps you will be grateful so this verse is entirely dedicated to the sea and in the listing of the bounties of Allah no doubt that sea is one of the greatest bounty that Allah has made for the for the mankind and this verse just enumerates the most prominent of these bounties which started with uh, being a, a food resource for us in terms of the seafood and Allah mentioned in among this the, the characteristics of the seafood is that it's its meat is tender and no doubt that we we very much know that comparing the the land food in terms of the beef or chicken or any other kind of meat uh, even the birds meat we know that the the seafood and the sea meat is really very much tender and they are more costly and has more food value uh, and more healthy for our bodies and also uh, this verse tells us about the other benefit of the sea is to extract pearls and other jewelry and uh, ornaments for our beautification so this is another thing that the sea contributes to us as human being and and that's yet another really valuable valuable resource that sea gives us which we often don't really um, spend the the resources and attention that it should be given to and it's only recently that people are now thinking about the deep sea mining it's a field by itself that people are now trying to extract uh, various minerals and materials and even precious uh, metals from the seabed and as the people say that we might have explored the moon or the outer space more than we have explored uh, our ocean and seabeds and this kind of verse really gives us motivation especially that nowadays with the advancement of science and technology we have the submarines we have uh, we are able now to reach to places we have never been able to reach previously and we have explored and found out so many new species that they live under the seabed even when you go very deep where the sunlight cannot penetrate uh, in the in the in the darkness of the sea you'll find how amazingly a special kind of sea organisms and animal and fishes are able to survive in that uh, in that environment and how they developed certain kinds of mechanisms to survive and uh, nourish into that dark abyss of the oceans and seas uh, also this verse talks about the ship and and this really is very amazing that that a 
Allah has taught Noah, the carpenter and the prophet to build the first ship that humankind uh, made and how this noble science of ship building is a divine revelation that Allah taught Noah and from him was inherited to all subsequent uh, subsequent nations so we need to thank Allah for this really valuable gift for us which enables uh, thousands and millions of tons of material to float on top of the sea it's really amazing when you think about this ship and how Allah uh, sends this wind to carry this ship from one location to another and that's why Allah mentions this sin in a very uh, in a very amazing way this analogy of plowing through the water so when you see the head of the of the ship plowing through the through the water now with the mechanical uh, engines uh, fuel driven engines it's really an amazing scene for us to all ponder and thank Allah that he taught us uh, this uh, this uh, art of building ships and no doubt if you trace the human history how this maritime and sea uh, exploration has contributed to the development of civilizations uh, especially the western civilizations uh, they have uh, used and leveraged this uh, maritime uh, exploration in discovering new places and new routes and that enhanced their trade and contributed to their imperial uh, buildings starting perhaps from the Portuguese, the Dutch, uh, the French and subsequently the English uh, uh, imperial forces. Even today the, the trade between countries that are done through the maritime trade constitutes more than 80% of the total volume of the of the trade so there is no doubt that even with the with the land communication as well as the air cargo still the maritime and the ocean liners with this huge load of cargo uh, uh, and oil tankers so <coughs> These are all these uh, beneficial aspects of sea has been very eloquently mentioned in this.